Hey there guys, what's up? Rag2 here, welcoming you back to Pokemon Showdown. Last time I had a really fun battle with a really interesting vault turning kind of team, and I decided to iterate on that because Zapdos dropped into underused and I had to play with it. You know I did. So, I was playing around with this for a while, I made some decent uh, adjustments, and I finally had this battle right here. And looking at my opponent's team in the team preview, I decided Beedrill would be the best lead to go with, because nothing immediately threatened it on the first turn besides the Entei. So my opponent led with Roserade, got a layer of spikes off, and I'm able to knock off its Black Sludge. And as my opponent switches into Entei, I had gone for the U-turn. Seeing Entei, I thought Nidoqueen could very easily take an attack from this thing, but it turns out it cannot, and it gets O-Code by the Flare Blitz. And... Now I'm in a very uncertain position because Nidoqueen was part of my defensive core with Porygon. So I go for the knockoff hoping to get the KO onto this Entei. It does not, in fact, pick up the KO and I lose Beedrill on top of it. Entei does drop in the end, but it costs me my Mega and half of my defensive pivot. So now I bring in Zapdos because I can get damage off onto pretty much anything and then a free Volt Switch out into whatever I want. It turns out... Co uh, Cresselia after Cobalion is my target of choice, and I'm able to bring in Feraligator. I'm intending to scare this thing away with a Swords Dance, but if I can get the KO with Crunch, I'd be happy with that as well. Cresselia starts setting up a Calm Mind, obviously intent on staying in here and trying to muscle through me. The Psy Shock goes through, but it doesn't do enough to get a 3-hit KO, and I'm able to pick up the KO on Cresselia with a well-placed Crunch attack. Now Sharpedo comes in, and having only really one defensive Pokemon left, I go into Porygon 2. I'm able to trace the speed boost, which actually ends up being pretty cool. Porygon 2 with an outrageous amount of speed is a very scary Pokemon indeed. So Sharpedo Mega Evolves and goes for the Crunch, but it doesn't pick up any flinch, and Porygon 2 is able to get the Paralysis off onto the old Sharpedo. In addition, it starts getting its speed boost, so I'm able to get off a recover before Sharpedo can attack. I get another speed boost, the crunch doesn't do enough to two hit KO me, and my opponent seeing this decides to switch into the Cobalion. Now Porygon 2 is sitting at perfect HP again, and I'm just gonna go for another Thunder Wave. He has nothing that can stop me from Thunder Waving his whole team, and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Make everything slow so Feraligator can set up easier. Well, that's the plan with this team anyway. So Cobalion goes for the close combat, lowers its defenses, I'm able to get a recover off, Cobalion gets fully paralyzed, paral paralyzed in the end, I confused myself with my own joke. And in the end, my opponent switches out into the Dewblade, who takes my Tri-Attack perfectly, obviously being a Ghost-type, but it does leave me open to go for another Thunder Wave. This, however, gives my opponent a chance to set up the Swords Dance, and now I am in a bit of trouble. Since I have no attack to directly hurt Dewblade, I have basically given my opponent a free switch, and Zapdos takes a lot of damage from the Shadow Sneak as I come in to try and get the KO. Now, I am able to do a hefty amount of damage with my Heat Wave, but it does not pick up the KO, and that's very, very, very unfortunate. I bring in Porygon 2, who traces the No Guard, which is inconsequential and I'm able to get off an Ice Beam before going down to the Sacred Sword. And I only I actually got off that Ice Beam because of a full paralysis, but... I then bring in Feraligator, and Feraligator is able to get the Revenge Kill with the Aqua Jet, which is actually why I put that onto the set. And now my opponent brings in Roserade, looking to get the Revenge KO in return. But I'm just gonna keep hammering that Aqua Jet, I do get a crit, I take Roserade out, and now Sharpedo comes in. I can't do anything to this Sharpedo, and I absolutely cannot switch for Alligator in anymore because of the spikes. So I leave it in, it takes the crunch, but it does get off a small amount of damage onto Sharpedo. Now it's time to bring in Zapdos. I get off one last Volt Switch, and it's time for Reuniclus to take the stage. Now I absolutely know that Cobalion cannot do anything to this Reuniclus. So I'm able to get off one definite Calm Mind. My opponent goes for the Stealth Rocks in an attempt to spite Zapdos from coming in if it does boil down to that. But with one Calm Mind up, I go for a Focus Blast. And Focus Blast misses. I then fire off one last Focus Blast. It does hit the Sharpedo and take it out. 
I go for another Focus Blast onto Cobalion, and even though it does miss, Cobalion is fully paralyzed, and seeing that, my opponent does decide to forfeit. Whew, man. That one came just a little too close for comfort, but then again, the best battles really do, don't they? I was not expecting my Zapdos pivot to work as well as it did. Being able to get off damage and then Volt Switch out, while not taking much damage and doing off a decent in return, it ended up being really essential, and I'm very pleased with how this team has been performing. So you can expect to see more of this underused, Volt-turning defensive team in the future. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, please leave me a like and a comment telling me how much fun you're having, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.